a vinegar, add that in the bowl, and you take at least, oh, I'd say a can, can and a half of oil, add that baby in there like that. Oh, boy, I can't get a shot of that. Boy, does that look good. <laughs> then, yep. Now don't, then you stir it up. But actually at home, you'd use little beaters, but I don't want to hurt myself today. <laughs> so, <laughs> enough of that. So we shake it all up, because it is a tossed salad. <laughs> and I think it's kind of like talking back to today's movie. Which happens to be Frankenstein's daughter. Stay tuned a little later, and I'll show you a fantastic dessert I'll have whipped up. <laughs> mm, that's not bad. <laughs> Just like mom used to say. <laughs> yeah. See you a little later, gang. Mm. Or it's hey. anyway, mom. Zombies, <laughs> just cut a few cucumbers for that fantastic dessert I told you about. <laughs> yeah! Well, it sounds to me like it's done. <laughs> Boy, I can't wait! Why, but you guys have never seen anything like a cucumber pie. <laughs> Ooh, my favorite. Get the pies already, put a few cucumbers in there. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Oh, Terry, give me a moment. <laughs> Boy, I gotta see what you like this pie. I always like to get the viewers this pie time. new cooking that you. Terry, what do you think about cucumber pie, huh? Isn't that bad? Well, zombies, I guess you can't win them all. So until next week, goodbye! Oh, you crazy zombies. <laughs> Boy, I took that this is a shaving cream. And now, back to the interview with Dr. Destruction. Your favorite horror movie, and, and the worst one you thought you've ever seen. Just Anything? don't say slime people. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Invasion of the Green Slime is one of my favorite. No, it's just the green slime. Invasion of the Green it's the Slime! It's just the green slime! With Louis Piana Palooza. I think that, that they had its own song, too, the green slime. Yeah, yeah. it did. That's right. By Burt Back, what, Burt Backrack, maybe? It did. No, the blob, the blob at Burt Backrack. The blob, yeah, the green yeah. slime. Green slime sort of did have its own song, though. Yeah, 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 right. It had a half Spanish. Japanese, half Japanese cast, half American. Uh, um, so I've seen the giant claw. Oh, oh, wow. I saw the giant claw on your show for that's sure. True. Now I know some of my movies out there remember that one. Giant claw or grab oh. that airplane. <laughs> we, we we had a friend of ours, his name was Smith, and we used to call him <laughs> a giant <laughs> claw. Right? No, he yeah. he, didn't Boy, no, he, he didn't have no teeth and he used to climb up in this big tree and sit up there and stuff like that. We used to call him the giant claw. Right? <laughs> he was your friend? Was like, is a real yeah, person? Friend. Yeah, well, we called him the Giant Claw because of the movie. <laughs> and, and that was you. You're the one that played that thing. Now, that claw. one was something else. We should, we should show the Giant Claw. That's a good movie. Yeah. And, of course, it's always playing Night from Outer Space. Huh? Of course. That was uh, actually our first movie that yeah. was on the show. Just because, like, you know, Vampire would be in the original sort of horror. I got that. We probably got, you know. <coughs> what, Vision of the Body Snatchers. And the first one. I think you had some Vincent Price movies on your show, didn't you? A couple not not any real good ones. Uh, House of Wax we had. What is the one? House of Wax is a good one. <coughs> ah, I saw the House <laughs> of Wax. That was 3D at the Dr. time. Five. It was great. What is the one where um, he kills everyone? He kills a reporter and he kills the, eats the dog. Oh, uh, Theater of Blood. Theater of Blood. Theater of Theater Blood. Of Blood. I think that's Theater public domain. Yeah, he yeah, goes after the uh, the critics. <coughs> right, the critics. Yeah. How many, how, going? how many shows did you say you do? Did you do more than one at a time or one show at a time? I mean, how was your format for that? Uh, normally, we would do three shows at a time. Three shows at a time, huh? We'd do three shows at a time, one Saturday, and we would knock the month out. That must have been a lot of scripts you were carrying around. Script huh? Scripts? <laughs> yeah, that's what I know. I know. I got Scrap. papers everywhere over here. I don't and know. then when we did, uh, for one season, we did uh, double features, so that would be two movies. So we would do. Five, five cut-ins for a movie, so we would do like 20 bits in one day. This is the math lesson. For that, wow. 20 bits five in one day. Well, that's a lot that of work. Hard. That was tough. But normally we would do uh, three. Three. Well, that's very good. Three.
Very cool. Three movies times three segments. That's that's yeah. nine. And then you got one left over for ten. Now, now in that time period that I had seen you downtown Kenosha, believe it or not, uh, uh, were you making a lot of public appearances at that time? Yes, I was. Mm -hmm. I a lot of parades, a lot of. Uh, Halloween uh, businessmen association parades or a downtown business and we used to do what that center street thing remember yep. we were driving in out? the coffin motorized coffin oh, we had a motorized coffin we'd tool in and the guy wow, also that was like you had a major budget for that show huh he had a motorized toilet that's too. right professor spring yeah but i spring for some more i remember that but I, i'm getting I'm, <laughs> well, I'm, 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 we want motorized coffin <laughs> that's right we can't even get a microphone no we would get over and this guy's got motorized coffins <laughs> i'm telling you what we, uh, but it only goes forward. You can't go reverse. We would get fans. All right. Fans would call in, and these Just are like people. Life. These are people that would develop these things. We get the guy would say, "Hey, I got a motorized cop, and you want to use it?" <laughs> so <laughs> has it been used before? You know, not you getting it. Somebody else. Did you ever go out on the nightlife and you know maybe bend the elbow a little bit in character, or did you kind of stay away from that for professional reasons? <laughs> the elbow. <laughs> well, obviously, some of the uh, appearances would be at night, Halloween, and mm -hmm. and some other times we we would uh, sponsor the haunted houses uh, all over, different ones, and we would we would ha we'd get a little thirsty afterward. We'd stop in, so, and then so did you ever have like a bar buy a, a really stiff drink that you know a you stiff what <laughs> a really a really stiff drink that uh, you was a little heavier than you might have. Well, let's just say <laughs> maybe not that I could prove. <laughs> But it could have been in Cedarburg. You know. Oh, Cedarburg. We know the town well. It's a beautiful town. We loved it. We had many appearances at Cedarburg. Nice bed races, too. Yes, we uh, would go up there. And we, In fact, we won second place in the uh, the uh, bed race, one of Toulouse's bed racing teams. Yep. Winter Carnival. Always yeah. a pleasure in Cedarburg. Winter Carnival, a little warm wine, you know. Oh, all right. The wine sure. in Cedarburg is great. Um, so, uh, Geez, I've lost my train of thought again. Woo -woo. See, Ray, Woo -woo. But uh, I can see, though, Jump geez, in, Nick. that you guys seem to have definitely had a great time doing the show. We did. Really enjoyed when it. When do we get paid? <laughs> Professor Spring, did you say something about paying these men? We don't I get paid? Little shanks to Is he out there? I gotta take him. I don't see him. I think something went Take wrong. one for me while you're out there. Here we go. So you got another one of these cheap microphones <laughs> like last week's show. They much. keep falling off, but... Uh, the pizza was good. Yeah, the pizza we was good. Give we can plug? thank Geraldo for the pizza. Thanks for the discount, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, why? Well, right. Anyway. <laughs> but, but no anchovies. Yeah, he just got the free plug, Geraldo. Yeah, yeah Geraldo's Pizzeria. Check it out. How, where is that located? What address is that? That's where you can get no napkins and warm soda. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful downtown Kenosha. Yeah, beautiful. Well, no, it's that, we've got Waukegan to rip on. We don't. Oh, Waukegan! Hey, I'll rip on I grew that. up in the Waukegan area. You did. As a young ghoul. Oh boy. How was the downtown then? We used what to cruise on the C Street. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Yeah, it was more fun back then. I guess. Oh. Definitely. We used to. Cruise in a <laughs> yeah. That was it. You know, well, well, every night or just on weekends, so you didn't wear out the uh, the thrill. You have seen tonight's feature, the flying people. Then uh, I can't say that I have had the pleasure, but I'm well, sure. Well, we'll I'm definitely going have to send you the tape. I'm going so to. you can view the flying people and uh, feel the terrible, I've seen terrible flying horror person. feeling that hey, we're going through now. I took a shower today. <laughs> I didn't need it, but I took. Who's one. in the movie? Is that a good you know? Robert, Robert Horton. Robert Horton. Robert Horton. Robert Horton. Yep. Yeah. And the slime. Or if you pronounce it wrong, the same. Johnny Horton? I don't believe so. Johnny Horton has his own band. He sings Sink the Bismarck. Yep. Yes. Not to be confused God, with Sink, Sink the Bismarck. Bismarck. Oh, I was thinking of Johnny Crawford. He has his own band from the Rifleman. Shut up. Just shut <laughs> up. Well, you're going to take this from him. So no, I'm not. At any time, did you ever uh, run into Dr. Cadaverino or Jack LeBan? <coughs> Uh, no, I, I did not have the pleasure. I time. did. Was it a I rivalry did. thing? I mean, you no. guys were on the same time or anything like we that? We were only on the same time for a little, little, a little one while. show. Was that all? Was That's a little show? while. That's a little while. That's the one I said I needed the two TVs <coughs> for. I and I would have to say that people sometimes came up to me and said, "Hey, you watch Jack the Bond, and maybe you're copying him." Or I have to say, I, I, I did not grow up in the Milwaukee area. So I did not know him. I never saw him at my theater. I mean, at first glance, you might think something like that, but, but I, I think they're totally Any similarities different. are uh, two different entities. Purely coincidental. You know? Sure. And don't call me Shirley. But they are coincidental. 
Other than that, um, that's a pretty big word for you. It's a pleasure being here today. Well, um, it was great uh, having Very you, nice. you know, and uh, it really uh, brings the, us in touch with the you history know? and what motivated us to do it. I mean, obviously, you, you had a budget in production. We're just community. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, it, uh, so we're doing it for a little bit different Well, reasons, you've done you know? wonderful things with the place. I really like what you did, the little uh, little gray thing with the with And the very nice how many program. boxes here are you going to accumulate over the uh, course of the season? Uh, 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 we'll see. Who knows? We'll have that everywhere. I'm done. You know? I'm not going to say another word. All right. He's All right. Done. He liked the boxes. Anyway, ghoulies, uh, what, we got more of the horrible movie. I think I think that the uh, the actual documentary and the interview here uh, lasted longer than the movie. <laughs> that you know, we, like I said, we could have cut it out 40 minutes of fog scenes, and nobody would have known the difference. So, all right, I guess we're getting back to the movie, and then we'll have some top tens, and we'd like to thank our guests once again. You've made it such a pleasure, and it's it's oh, been the greatest show, be our greatest show. We're calling it our grand opening show. And uh, we're going to watch it at one of the local pubs n next week. Yeah, we're well, can we watch it? Yes. You want to come down? You tell us when it is. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll be there. Now. Maybe we come down. And Buy us around, can, uh, I'll be there. And then Dick can uh, meet some of his hot rod buddies over there at uh, Shoots. There we go. Shoot? That's where we'll, yeah, we'll Shoot? do it at Shoots. That's I don't know if I can say any more than that. It's uh, want to advertise. But uh, they got nice big screen TVs over there and everything like Super. that. Super. Good, because my eyes are going with age. All right, ghoulies, now back to the movie. And wasn't that special? Breathtaking footage, wasn't it? Very breathtaking. Them guys knew how to have a good time. We were having a lot of good time, too. <laughs> of course, I did file for, for divorce on the same day that we shot this episode. Really? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Stranger things have happened. Wow. And, of course, we went on and had uh, uh, brushes with other hosts. Of course, when I had the Big Top Radio broadcast, uh, which is coming back in January, uh -huh. uh, we did get a chance to interview some of the greatest hosts, like John Stanley, of course, uh, Rich Coe, Sven Gooley, one of the best guests we ever had on the show, mm -hmm. and uh, various other hosts. And there was another surprise in the Crimson Theater world. Uh, we don't have that clip. We'll bring that out on another show. But Count Gordeval was also uh, on the show. That was a pretty big high roller there. Oh, he yeah. He had no idea when he came on the show. Mm -hmm. uh, but little did I know it, while I was in Columbus, Ohio, to induct Jack DeBlonde, Dr. Cadaverino, into the Horror Host Hall of Fame, that I would meet another host, a famous Madison host named Mephisto. And uh, I never really saw a lot of Mephisto since he was out of Madison. I seen some pictures. I got the vibe that he was in that time zone and everything. And I met Mr. Flanagan. And immediately we just, uh, we clicked. We were, we could talk to each other right away. He was a fantastic individual and I had nothing but respect for, for what he did. Of course, he, he did the convention uh, not in character. And at the convention, I already was, you know, the squeaky wheel gets the grease, as they say. <laughs> well, I was already greasing him up there that, you know, he should redo the character. Well, it wasn't a month later, and here he was on Crimson Theater yeah. in makeup. Memphis, still the first time in 30 years, doned his makeup. Now he, he came to the pumpkin farm and did it. Oh, you've got that footage, mm -hmm. too, don't you, Ralphie boy? I don't know what you're getting in Milwaukee. I don't know what you're going to get at the end of the night. There's a little boy named Ralph in the control room, and he's full. <laughs> he is full of surprises, I'll tell you what. And full of something. I don't uh, surprises. Know. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> Nevertheless, let's get right into it. Here's some very vintage Madison horror host uh, footage. I know it's not Milwaukee stuff, but we did it. We, we delivered tonight. Yeah. So now, here's a famous Madison horror host on the Crimson Theater, Mephisto. Our ghoulies, and here we are for a very, very special YouTube broadcast of Dr. Destruction's Crimson Theater with our very special guest, not seen, by the way, in 30 years, the one and only Memphisto. How you doing tonight? When you yell like that, when we start, you, you frighten me. I, am I it's scaring just, you? Yes, oh, a little bit, him. and I'm older now, I and know. I'm not, you know, and the old ticker just might... No, yeah, never mind. No. Anyway, it's a pleasure to have you here, and we're doing a very special YouTube broadcast. Uh, I I, are you having I, fun? I didn't come here to whine. Okay. So you're not, I'm just not going to do it anymore. I'm not going to complain and just sit here and whine like a big sissy. I'm not going to do it. All right, well, don't do those things. We're, no. we're, you okay. should be happy you're here amongst... Well, we've got some uh, great lineup behind this. Uh, if I was any happier... Wolfgang in a If while. I was any happier, it would be daylight. Oh, wow. 
That's how late I stay up sometimes. Yes, daylight, you know? I've tried that, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's hard to do nowadays, isn't it? Get it arrested is. for vagrancy. That's the problem. I you know. know. But then now anyway, what? What? what, what well, hello. Oh, I, I don't know. I was going to ask you. Are yes. you going to go see the new Dark Shadows movie when it comes out? You bet I am. I'm going to see that one because I want to see. It looks to me like he lives very much in a place like sort of what I used to live in, except he was obviously the boss. Of his place. Oh well, no. yes, he commanded the place. Yes, he sure. did. Oh I mean, yes, you know, and, I, and I never. Well, I unfortunately, this week we learned that Jonathan Frid passed on. Yeah, isn't that Barnabas something? has left the building. That's awful. Yeah. I mean, yes, just, it is. It's sad. It's very sad. Bad timing. Very sad. Yeah, well, you know, in the new movies that are coming out and, and and everything and lots of controversy. I know. I myself am completely upset. I found out just the other day through the grapevine that the new Tim Burton film animated feature due out in October called Frankenweenie is going to be a comedy. A no. comedy? I, I don't know how they could have done this. Sacrilege. I, I yeah. don't know what's wrong with people. Awful. It's just How awful. dare they? The how, audacity. How how could you even think of something it's so... shameful. What was that? Just profoundly <laughs> not nice. Turbo's tooting. Oh, oh, yes, uh, that's, oh, he's a gassy old turtle, isn't he? Sure is. <laughs> they used to say that about me back in the we old days. should make a giant <laughs> pot of soup out uh, of I'm <laughs> telling you, that guy, he's getting out of control over here. Weather changer. But, you know, I'm making a joke because everybody, everybody's upset that the new Dark Shadows movie is going to be a comedy, I guess. Yeah, it looks like it. I, I'm not, well, uh, they got a good cast in it. Well, Johnny it looked, I, I, so far, I'm liking what I see. Looks like it'll be yeah. fun. Of course, how they could, you know, I mean, they're dealing with such a serious subject as a family oh. that has witches, vampires, werewolves, crooks, and, and mad scientists and all these things. A lot of pluses. You know, how could they make a comedy Vampire. out of such serious <laughs> stuff like that? Well, I really, this is one of these things where you have to see it and, and then judge it. Which I fully intend to do if That's I can what they all say. find some door to sneak in the theater and but get in. But now, Memphisto, your yes. first appearance in 30 years. Why don't you tell us about a little uh, bit of the fun of the golden years of Lenny's Inferno? Boy, I don't. Well, we were talking a little earlier about some of the crazy things that used to happen. Uh, first of all, I got to say, and I say this seriously, the voice in the box, who was a very good friend of mine, is no longer with us, and I miss him dearly. And let me tell you, he should be here. He really should be here. He would lift whatever I'm doing to another level just by his presence and being part of this. And I, I have to say that, I really do, because I've never had the opportunity to say that before. Uh, he hasn't been gone that long, but I truly miss him. He was one of, uh, he was a very good friend of mine and one of the most talented people I ever met. Now, having said that, as far as the voice in the box and reality is concerned, my reality... Ah, well put. Well, well Thank put. you. Yes, uh, very, very good, very good. Now, I have to want to, want to recap. You were inducted into the Horror Host Hall of Fame at Horror Hound Weekend in Columbus, Ohio. And how did that work out for Isn't you? Isn't that something? I mean, in a million years, I never would have seen that. Con well, actually, what I did was I was in disguise. I was... I made myself up to look exactly like an ordinary person. And nobody, nobody knew who I really was. Ah, that was that's kind the of, way to do it. But I got it, I got to say this, and you reminded me of it when we came in here, uh, in lieu of, I guess, the little thing you're supposed to get because those hadn't been finished on time or whatever. Mm -hmm. They gave us uh, little certificate type things, and mm -hmm. they were really nice. They really were. But they misspelled my name. Oh, no, that's the kind of thing that happens to the. I'll tell you, I I didn't know how to react to that, but the more I thought about it, I almost felt homesick. That was something that some of the old people that I I truly miss, Beauregard, Charlene, Mumford. Uh, though, yeah, what was it? Oh yeah, and it was in the frame upside down too. That was kind of nifty. Oh, it was upside uh, yeah, down. In the frame. I forgot about that. Good going, big uh, night. <laughs> but I was, uh, I, 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 and I said, it's the thought that counts. Well, yeah. the, the thing is that they had me pegged, from what I remember. Uh, that was something I would, they would, they would have done to me on the show. Uh -huh. So I felt it made me feel comfortable, oh, comfortably God. at home. Well, you, you'd be surprised the abuse you can get from your. Oh, your help on a horror host it's show. It's incredible. It, it, every time you think they couldn't do anything more to you, oh, it, yeah, another height is something. reached. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, we needed the white balance even earlier. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, that's all right. 
<laughs> yeah, it's good to see you again, Wolfgang. Yeah, Wolfgang's has, here. The dogs smell like this uh -huh. turtle next to me. Wolfgang, yeah. you're there. Hey, pleasure to meet you. Somebody that's polite. <laughs> well, I am so at home I here. Don't know you yet. Don't well, I, I give him time. Give yeah, him time. we give it about uh -huh. ten minutes, and you'll probably be throwing things at me too. That's right, uh, eggs. No matter of fact, that wasn't you a little earlier over there with that oh, skull that came this way. Oh, no, 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 okay. Uh, Must have been somebody that, that looked been. exactly like you. No, there's uh -huh. no one who looks this handsome. Well, then, uh, well, you and, you and Danny Love do have the same hairstyle. You know, the ladies go crazy for a doctor. Send those bikini pictures. They've no. been waiting for those bikini pictures. Girls in bikinis. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, <laughs> Maliva's going to bust out her leather bikini next week for uh, oh, horror she'll party. Oh, bust out all right. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, you bust me up all the time. Yeah. Uh-huh. So great, great to be, uh, you were inducted. And of course, I recognized you. I had to set up this riveting interview. You did. You did. You knew who I was. And I... That was kind of neat. I, you were the only one, though. Well, Rich Peterson, uh, who goes by another name. Oh, he would, will be visiting us soon, too. He was the one who was responsible for having me inducted, and he knew who I was, too. But I had known him in another... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't remember what it was, so never mind. Ha! I can't remember what it was. But he knew who I was. Um, and I want to thank Rich, because without his help, I never would have had my name spelled wrong you know you know a per frame upside down and i i appreciate that that's I an honor I, I, was, I thought it was i until they told me i, I heard that you like that well they yeah they and they kept it uh it's not an honor it's not an honor yes it is well, the, shut the up the funny thing is your name is joe smith <laughs> well, that was, well it was for a while there uh I, joe first, i had nothing to do with that first thing that came mm. to my mind when they said uh, what's your name soldier <laughs> and you know he was shining a flashlight in my face and he had manacles and a big star on his uniform and Whoa. Joe of the Smith well they didn't buy it so never mind anyway 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 now with all these new horror hosts coming up every day left and right you have got any uh, words of advice for horror hosts everywhere out there in our viewing uh, 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 audience get a day job <laughs> As, and get if you do anything like the way we used to do it back 30 years ago, get insurance and a lot of it. Uh huh. You can't have enough health insurance. Don't even think about life insurance. They're going to give you any anyway. No. Mm -hmm. No, that's my advice. Uh, be very careful and uh, be very careful who you associate with, because there are people that, uh, uh, like I said, it. So many times I was ground zero when the pie throwing started. They're out to get you. Oh yeah, yeah. They're oh yeah, good. they're out to get you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh it, yeah. It seems like it to me. Anyway. You'll have a good time if you have a week to heal between shows. That's so. about how it goes here. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, we want to give a good shout out to TerrorDaves.com. That's the Terror Dave. TerrorDaves.com. Was that a good shout out? Yeah, that was a very, a very good, good shout out. Shout I think out. they'll like that because two Daves are better than one. And they do a good job with their weekly horror host report, which uh, I have you probably watching us on that report and some pictures and whatnot. It's going to be a big update. They are eagerly waiting for the uh, what happened today here on uh, 4 20 12. Oh, I wish I knew what any of that meant. Yeah, it's going to be that was just we're approaching wonderful. Yes, 420 code. at 420. That, that's yeah. code, right? I, 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 I didn't know understand kind of a word of it, mm -hmm. but then I have a it's a problem. I have. <clears throat> That's okay. Terrordaves.com! Oh, see? We get, once you wind them up, you get them going. All right, I hope you enjoyed our little YouTube broadcast. Uh, there is an exciting episode of Crimson Theater starring Manfisto and, of course, his alter ego in the upcoming, soon-to-be-released uh, documentary, Cheesy Hosts from the Cheesy Ho... <laughs> uh, cut, no. Cheesy Hosts from the Cheesy State, the history of horror hosts in Wisconsin. That yes. sounds good, doesn't it? it? Does. If you say so, it sounds good to me. Well, thank you. There'll be an extra 20 in the lunchbox uh, uh -huh. next, next time you come on the show. I can pay some debts. <laughs> <laughs> if back, you can you pay people. debts as a horror host, you're doing pretty good. You people. All right, ghoulies, check us out next time. <laughs> anyway, ghoulies, here we are at the Jerry Smith Pumpkin Farm where we have the one and only icon, Mephisto from Madison. Are you happy to be here today? I couldn't be any happier. Uh, 
Well, I could be, but uh, no, I couldn't be. I, I've changed my mind. I, I, I forget. You're feeling pretty good about things. Yes. Ah, well, it's great to have you back here in Kenosha. Yeah. You've become a bit of a local icon because you know the show you were on uh, has been playing continuously here in Kenosha. Yes, and I don't understand that. Well, we don't get your old episodes. Uh, where can we find some of them? I would say a bank vault somewhere, or perhaps a uh, underground buried someplace with a cross on them or something. Uh, yeah, really, they were some of them. Just now, now, you know, after your induction into the Horror Host Hall of Fame back in March, uh, you've probably been getting in touch and finding a lot more uh, about the Horror Host fans. Where has that led you in the path of uh, unconsciousness? Into the kitchen, because I was extremely hungry that day, and uh, I was... That was pretty much it for me. And I, that dirty old woman that was here a little while ago that I could have it with charged me money for my lunch. What else was she charging money for? That's Never mind, it's a family show. Yeah. Anyway, we're, we're very happy that the one and only Mephisto is here at the Jerry Smith Pumpkin Farm. How about some uh, yeah, yeah, you, We got an audience hey, out there. Let them know you're here. Come on. Hey, are you having a good time at the Pumpkin Farm? Are you scared? I'm scared too. Oh, here we go. Now we got Mike and Madness on top of it. All right. Oh well, there you go. Terrible. Outstanding. This is, you know, you attack, you attract a very interesting crowd. Usually, uh, it's uh, they're on the other side of bars. Hey, can you mind a size? <laughs> Ah, terrible conditions here. What's the world coming to? Oh, that's all right. Really? Really? Are, are we losing the light here? I'm getting a bit concerned. This is important business here. And uh, uh, once again, if you don't already know it, this is the legendary TV horror host, circa 1970 to 1980 in Madison, Wisconsin. What channel were you on up there? 15. Channel 15. WMTV. Uh, as in television. And in television. Yes, and what yes. were the highlights of your, your time on that station? Being paid. That's the best part. That was the only part as far as I was concerned. That's, that's what I keep missing. I was humiliated too many times while I was doing that. Uh -huh. I'd rather uh, the people who were, you know, they were a little bit weird. Ah, weird people, in the, weird people involved with horror. Yeah, people. I don't feel it right around here, people. Uh -huh. yeah. I got you there. Yes. Well, the, the party's just starting here, and uh, well, the, the, it's going to be a little bit later. Maybe maybe we'll have to videotape some of that, too. We could do that, sure. Uh, remember I did tell you this one time when we were doing that thing at the, over that uh, horror Hall of Fame nonsense, when I got up there and I told them, because I remembered this, was that in the old days, in the old west, whatever it was, when they brought cameras in the wild west, Indians thought oh, yeah. that when they took your picture, that thing... Stores. Probably was. Oh. Now we all know that's just not true. I still got mine. So but I want to tell you, a television camera, on the other hand, I'd iffy. I, I wouldn't go there too much. Where are you if plugging I in? Okay. I would hang, you know, get looked at from time to time. That's so right. They can tell you that uh, you're, uh, you have. Uh, who was I talking about? I can't remember. I don't either. <laughs> Is his ears ringing? Who's? Ah, did you get your pumpkin this year? No. Well, we got we got to send you off with a yeah. pumpkin. Oh, that would be that. neat. A couple of them. Do you still carve pumpkins? Not unless they give me a lot of trouble. I, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never had a past one, did you? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> if I could remember, I'm certainly not going to talk about like, it tonight. Well, I was you. thinking, you know, sort of like no, dodgeball. You know. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> <laughs> Evidently, I did. I don't want to remember. <laughs> That's terrible condition. Let's here. talk about anything else. Well, all right. Let's let's talk about some of your favorite. Uh, what are some of your favorites in the horror genre? Boy, I would. I don't know. Uh, horror movies. Oh, yeah. Actors, you know that sort of thing. I don't know.